Hey, what's up everyone? I am Chris Aurelius with the EDM Nightlife Show here at the King's Room in the Rio. And once again, I have a great opportunity to get an exclusive interview with who? That girl from LA. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. It's great to be here in Vegas. I love this city. I've been coming here since I was a little girl, just uh, watching my mom and my aunties gamble. And now I get to come here and play music, so it's awesome. Uh, that's cool. You're here. You're chilling. You got yourself, you know, good to go. You're thinking about what you want to play, and you are going to play really soon. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to hear what you have going on. Please tell me just a little bit. Um, I'm a live hardware producer, so I play all synthesizers and drum machines. I don't use a laptop. I don't use other people's tracks. So. Nice. Yeah, so it's all live production. Um, I have a drum machine, a synthesizer, a sampler, a chaos pad, and a mixer. So that's five machines that I actually tote around with me everywhere I go, which is pretty crazy. All my gear is really tactile. I mean, the chaos pad, it's a cord chaos pad. You put your finger on it, it goes zoom, zoom, zoom. You know, I have um, the EMX is pretty much a standard drum machine that a lot of people have, and it's very, very user friendly. So you can actually make bass lines on the spot. You have a little ribbon controller, and then I have a synthesizer, the Cork Radius, and um, that's where all my like sick bass sounds come from. And so I can do a lot of knob twisting and manipulating and really tuning to the sound system, um, which is very much the art of playing live PA. Is that every sound system is different? You know, with, with DJing and also with what I do, every crowd is different, and that's awesome. But when it comes to playing live, every sound system is different. So you you really have to listen and you know pop, do, you know tweak things, fix things on the spot. Oh, cool. Where did you get some of your inspiration from? I mean, you've been using this, a lot of this equipment for quite a while, I see. And uh, tell me, where did you get some of your inspiration from? Well, there's a few hardware pioneers in our scene. Um, a lot of Euro you know, a lot of Europeans are really into the hardware thing. Um, but here in the States, um, Atomic Dog, Novatron are two of the guys that they used to come out with these huge, I mean, they're big guys, not little girls like me, but they would come out with these huge cases and just, you know, 10 machines and just play them and, um, you know, just kind of set it up on a table just like that and you're watching these big dudes manipulate these machines. And now I think um, because, you know, computers have made it easier to play on a computer that I think people have gotten, you know, I mean, in some ways lazy about it. It's not that they're doing a lot of production work, not to say, but, you know, the hardware is a... Put it this way, half the people that I play for think, oh, this is a dying art, and the other half think, oh my god, this is where it's at. Like, you keep doing this, and, and this is what people love. I have my turntables at home, but I don't really shop for records anymore. What about you? Do you ever go to these record shops in LA and just maybe, like, slab on some vinyl and hear what it sounds? Oh my god, I wish that I'd gotten into turntablism. I've never even owned a piece of vinyl in my life. It's crazy. But I really relate to, like, the vinyl artists because it's the same thing. It's the people dragging around the heavy shit. We're like, we look each other in the eye, and we're like, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're still doing that. You're still dragging the records around and scratching and everything like that, you know. So I, I appreciate that a lot, especially with the scratching and just sort of, um, I love like, you know, hip-hop vinyl, the way that it has samples in between, like the, the art of sampling, I think, because my first piece of gear was a sampler. So I played, you know, I filled it up with noises, movie samples, and my voice, and that was the instrument that I had to work with. I cannot wait to see what you have coming up. You know, I'm very excited. Where can we check you out on? Do you have any cool websites? I do, sletstep.com. Um, is my website or you can check me out on Dak Girl TV on YouTube I just dropped a really cool music video called Baby Got Bass that Baby Got Bass yeah it's on YouTube Dak Girl TV or SlutStep.com and uh, yeah I just want to give a shout out to the director of my music video Domo Ari Photo she, she kills it she filmed this thing. We did six days of shooting in Hawaii. This was about a month ago and just dropped this video about two weeks ago. So Where in Hawaii were you? Honolulu. Nice. Uh, we did a boat, a jungle, three different clubs, a fire show. So yeah, the kids in Honolulu know how to party. A shout out to them. I was born in Kealakekua, in Hawaii, but I don't know. I'm pretty white, but it's all good. You know, yes, mad respect to all the Hawaiians out there. And play the electronic music out there in the island still. Please, keep it going. Oh, man, that girl here at the Rio King's Room. I cannot wait to see what you have going on. And we're going to check you up on your websites. Chris Aurelius with the EDM Nightlife Show and that girl. Keep it locked. Yeah, much love. Those are the shrieking eels.